Hello, my name is Sophie Masson and I'm the author of The Snowman's Wish. First of all, I want to say thank you to my co-creator Ron Akhtar Hare for bringing the world of my dear snowman to such glorious, enchanting, lively and memorable life. Every time I turn the pages of our book, Ron Ak, I am transported with joy. Thank you to designer Hannah Jansen, whose elegant design has highlighted the book's beauty. Thank you to our wonderful publisher, Marguerite Le Monde, who understood and loved my text from the very beginning and whose unerring picture book eye has ensured that the book is the very best it could be. Thank you to all the Dirt Lane Press team for all your hard work. And thank you so much to my dear agent, Margaret Connolly, who understood immediately what a special magical text had come her way from me. Thank you so much to my dear friend and fellow author, Ursula Dubisarski, for her beautiful words about the snowman's wish. And thank you to my darling husband, David, who is pretty much as excited as me as the book launches into the world. Finally, thank you all for joining in this book launch celebration. This is a book that had a very special start. The story first came to me in a dream on the last day of February 2018. I could see the snowman in the dream standing under the old pine trees. I could hear a voice whispering how much he loved the world, how he celebrated it with a heart full of joy. When I woke, the first words of the text were on my lips. The snowman was new to the world and the world was new to him. In that moment, I knew something magical had come to me, a sheer gift of a story, something I had to quickly capture at once. So I grabbed my notebook and started scribbling. But it was a morning we were driving to Sydney to go to the launch the next day of the lovely poetry anthology, A Boat of Stars. And as it's a long way from our highlands of New England down to the city, we had to leave early. I had no time to write it up on the computer. Instead, as we voyaged on the back roads through the hills, there I was in the passenger seat, writing down lines, crossing them out, speaking them aloud to David. I was filled with excitement, telling him more than once that something very special was happening. He's lived with me a long time. He knows the weirdness of a writer's thought processes and how sometimes you can get excited over something that seems right when it first appears, but then that somehow runs out of puff. But this one was different. This one was a keeper, and a very special sort of keeper at that. He knew that. I knew that. By the time we'd reached Sydney, it was in exactly the right shape, and by the time we got home again and I wrote it up on the computer, my sense that this was something very special had not only not diminished, it had grown. Margaret's reaction when I sent it to her, and then Margaret's when she received it, set the seal on it. This was definitely a story that had come out of a very magical place, like a wish come true. Normally, of course, picture book texts change quite a bit from the first time they come into a publisher's office till the time the final layouts are done. Certainly being the case with most of my other picture books, including ones Margaret had worked on with me when she was at Little Hare. But the snowman's wish followed a different path as it had from the very beginning. As Margaret will attest, very few words were changed, only a few tweaks were made. The story that had come to me in the dream, the words I'd woken up with, the flow of words that had come to me at such white heat in the car on that trip to Sydney, that magic stayed the whole way through the editing and production process. When Margaret told me that she had found the perfect illustrator for the book and showed me Ronak's work, I was so delighted. When the illustrations started coming and the extraordinary visual world Ronak was creating took on more and more perfect shape, I was thrilled. And as I watched the book take form through sketches and storyboards and layouts and design, I was absolutely overjoyed. And overjoyed is what I continue to be. Overjoyed that I was lucky enough to be gifted the story in the first place. Overjoyed that it found the perfect publisher and the perfect co-creator. And overjoyed that today we celebrate the launch of this beautiful, special, magical book into the world. I'd like to end with the last words from the book as we raise our glasses. Dear Mr. Snowman, we know it's you. Dear Mr. Snowman, your wish came true.